Hey, Dexter. Huh? Some kid told me you have a laboratory. A laboratory? Dexter, your lab. It is the one thing he does not have, and it will still make you the smartest one of all. Go ahead. Show him your lab. Welcome and be amazed at the world of Dexter's laboratory. Hello. Welcome to the Monster Lab here, Dexter. Today, we are going to dip in into the standard deviations plus power of three. Be patient, my native language is Spanish. I wish I could cite a lot, but I will be very direct and clear. If you don't understand most things, you are probably new. This content is not for newbies or newcomers. Everything was learning from ICT, but what with my own research. I'll start with an opening, a power of three. This can be any power of three, monthly power of three, weekly power of three, daily power of three, four hour power of three, any power of three. The first element for power of three is the accumulation or consolidation. The second phase, the power of three, is the manipulation. And the third phase of power of three is distribution or expansion. Okay, all phase, accumulation, manipulation and distribution in one single candle. One single candle is alt, okay? Must think the, that expansion is only measured with manipulation, but we can also measure manipulation with accumulation. Once the expansion is finished, we can also measure the retracement or reversal. We are looking for synchronization to know if price is in accumulation phase or manipulation phase, phase or distribution phase. Identify where price delivery is in the present moment, when it's finished and when it start the next phase of the power of three. We start with the opening and we identify the accumulation range. Inside the accumulation range, we will look for the most discernible range, highest swing high and the most recent swing low that was broken. The double or two and a half deviations will be the projection for the manipulation phase okay in right now the monthly or the candle the power of three it's visually visualizing in bearish right but you anticipate that this move price is the manipulation and look for one reversals in the two or two and a half deviations for the next phase of delivery uh, the distribution or expansion once the manipulation is finished in the two or two and a half deviations we will look for the lowest swing low and the swing high most recent is it will it is the last move in direction of manip manipulation phase okay this high and this low um project upside for the distribution or expansion phase for this power of three that will be the range project for distribution or expansion the, the double or two and a half two or two and a half deviations for the projections for expansions there are some rules to look for 
for a standard deviation if price close above the two and a half deviations with body candle um but we'll have that for another video once price complete the expansion in two or two and a half deviations we anticipate retracements or reversals to the equilibrium range of the current dealing range that this low and this high anticipates retracements to equilibrium range to know if it's a retracement or a reversal depends on the high time frame premise if price has unfinished business he will continue in the same direction once have finished his retracement if price no have unfinished business a reversal is very likely we look for the highest swing high and the most recent broke swing low to project the retracement or reversals this low and this high same dynamics we will look for two or two and a half deviations for these projections the retracements or reversals let's look an example in euro usd with the monthly power of three here we have the opening of the monthly power of three we can visualize the accumulation, manipulation, expansion, retracements. If we see it, it's very ambiguous to know where one begins and another ends. It's accumulation or consolidation, manipulation, expansion, retracements or reversals. Very, very ambiguous. I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Let's dig deeper. Inside the accumulation phase, this is the opening, the monthly power of three. Accumulation phase, we look for the most discernible range to project the manipulation. And you look this high and this low this will be below the opening the projection for manipulation is below of the opening power of three it is important to identify the direction of the institutional order flow and identify which standard deviations match with high time frame pdrs of the same time frame of the power of three under development if you work with the monthly power of three, you can search or identify monthly PDRAs. Two and two and a half deviations for the accumulation range projections anticipate the finish for the manipulation move. We can see the last movement of manipulation in downside, identify the swing low and swing high, most discernible for projecting the distribution or expansion phase. Look this high and this low. I will project for the expansion or distribution phase to the two or, or two and a half deviations. Once we start the distribution phase, we can find specific areas where price will have reaccumulation or redistribution to continue towards its or two or two and a half deviations. These areas will be found in deviations one and one and a half, one and one and a half. This area or zone, it's the silver bullet zone. It's very, very powerful. 
you have a power of three in development and in this point price is an expansion phase you know you, you already have the accumulation manipulation and when price is an expansion phase it's more easy look for specific areas the redistribution or reaccumulation i look for internal liquidity in this area it's um, any internal liquidity fair value gaps buy side imbalance sell side imbalance um, any internal liquidity inside this zone the silver bullet zone and look for moves there one and one and a half moves to two or two and a half and if if price have unfinished business in upside i will look for four deviations or five deviations if price have one pda rate or imbalance in this area in this case we excel the four deviations even five deviations this is because price looking for monthly pdra monthly order block in this area in this point you can see the most discernible range for retracements or reversals this high and sw this swing low it's for the projections for the retracements or reversals phase swing high swing low the same dynamics we will look for in each phase of delivery you can look for one and one and a half deviations for the silver bullet zone you can uh, use the two and two and a half for anticipate one when the phase of delivery is finished and when the next phase of delivery start here we can see the three phase of the power of three being measured with precision the piece if together like a, a puzzle the conclusion we don't not only measure the manipulation phase as everyone thinks we can measure the accumulation range manipulation range retracements range it all depends on which phase of delivery it's price in the present moment okay i invite you to do your your own back testing with different power of three in different time frames i only warn you and you will no longer see the market in the same way que tengas un excelente día te saluda alex